Hello everybody, my name is Ellie and welcome back to Hush Hush. And it's a Sonic Flush this time. I am sorry for the uh... Okay, I just need to get this out there before we get back into this. I am sorry for the delay of this episode up to this episode. Did I say this episode twice? I'm not- I- I can't listen to things I say. <laughs> but um... No, for real, uh, sorry for the lack of videos, uh, real life stuff has happened, uh, over the past, uh, couple of weeks, and, uh, I was like, maybe I'll get that out of the way first, and then I'll get back into Hush Hush. I did that, it's, uh, Friday as of currently, I'm gonna do some Hush Hush, and I'm gonna have some fun. So, um, yeah. And, uh, before we get into anything, you might have noticed something a little bit different. It's July 3rd, but let me show you a little something. Save. Okay, I'm not gonna save anything, but I have completed the game. I 100%ed this game, and um... Yeah. I'll give my review and my big, big ass thank you to everybody uh, when I end this play, because, uh, this game's actually really- It actually became, like, my new favorite game ever. But, um, and sorry if you hear occasional burping at inopportune times. I didn't eat before this, so, anyways, let's get into some more Hush Hush Woo! Again, apart from, you know, the game being completed by me, um, this is a- Newer version of the game, uh, yes it is 18+, plus, so there's gonna be lots of censoring and some webcam. Some of my beautiful face being covered, covering the entire screen. Because of some sexy things, so, um, uh, let's, let's actually get back into this. Um, let's, uh, oh yeah. These will be for later, but, um. Let's get into the first hero date, or chapter as I like to call it. So, so, what I have done also, is that I, is that there is a, that there are guides to do this all A+. Plus. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing. Also, this is on easy mode. And, um, yeah, so I have snapped some guides uh, on my phone, so, um, so I won't have to miss anything. Um, what I'm gonna do in editing is that I'm just gonna be putting something over this and I will put that back and I just put my commentary over it. I don't know. But um, I'll see how it goes out in editing. So anyway, enough of the dumbass comments. Let's get into this. You arrive at the park and text Eli that you're there. Just as he hits send, you hear a message alert coming from the bushes. Someone pokes their head out and signals for you to come over. It takes some. It takes you a moment to register what's happening, but you recognize a familiar head of rainbow hair. Hold on, let me get closer. Hey, over here! Hurry! Hurry up! You duck into the bushes and find a giddy Eli golf clapping your arrival. That's a quiet clap, I believe. Eh. Quality. All right, scrumptious. Here comes my sister. She's on her brunch jog, which you'll be horrified to learn is not her first of the day. Lucky for you, that means you might have a shot of keeping up with her. She's training for the Iron Man, so she doesn't start to slow down until about the half marathon mark. This is your best shot. My dear Eero is made of stern stuff, so lace up those shoes, clench that cute hiney of yours, and get moving. Good luck! Get moving. Move to the beat. The beat that is... Movement. I don't know. <laughs> a few moments later, the rainbow-haired Eero comes jogging up the path. She catches your eye and smiles. Oh, hey! It's you! My bud from the beach! Fancy running into you here! Nice day for a jog, eh? I love it when the wind is just strong enough to hit you with that cool ocean spray. When you've got a few miles to put behind you, it kind of feels like cheating. It's evening. 
Not day, but whatever. Are you out for a jog too, then? Or did you put on your sweatpants to hang out in the park and hit on pretty girls? Well, I thought I was jogging, but, but then I saw you do it. I think I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if you should use me for your example. I don't really sweat elegantly. I kind of feel my body overdoes the whole process. Hmm. No, but seriously, are you out here to pound some pavement? Because I definitely wouldn't mind a little company on this last leg. I usually don't hit my peaks unless I've got someone cheering me along. If it's the same for you, we can be each other's sweaty cheerleaders. Sweaty cheerleaders, so oh boy. What do you say? Oh yeah, I mentioned I played this on easy mode. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, that's the best idea I've ever all I've heard all day. I can't speak. <laughs> let's do it. Yes, let's do this. With our powers combined, we can't lose. Um, Set cool. the pace. Let's rock. Let's rock this joint. So, I like to hit the boardwalk here and run all the way down to the lighthouse. It's just a 3K, but it does the trick for me. Hmm. I'm actually super happy to have someone along for this stretch. We have to pass in front of at least four ice cream stores. And the struggle is real, let me tell you. I just ate before this. I don't need to eat again. <laughs> so, tell me a bit about yourself. What do you do for a living? What are your dark and depraved secrets? Unless you don't think you can jog and chat at the same time. That's something I can't do. I've been working on my motivation set. I can do this all day. <laughs> you're a loon. I guess let's hope you're a quick loon who doesn't skip leg day. You'd be disappointed. <laughs> what about me? Any burning questions I can answer for you? You've got a bit of a captive audience here. So, now's your chance to get me to spill those beans. The audience is you. <laughs> so your name is Iro? Is that Canadian or something? <laughs> Close. It's Japanese. My full name is Iro Kawase. Hajime mashite. I still go into... St I still get stunned whenever I hear that, because I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> That's literally me. Hajime what now? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I don't look Japanese. I'm half Japanese. My dad was from Osaka, and my mom was from Oregon. Oregon? All the way from the west coast? Jesus Christ, I'm on the east coast. Ask me anything. I'm an open book. Ah, uh, yes. Eli. <laughs> yeah, Eli's something, eh? One of seven siblings, but definitely more fabulous than all the others combined. Not as... okay, never mind. <laughs> you guys have similar tastes and hairstyles. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we've got a thing for rainbows and friendship and ponies. Shared interest, you could say. Keep up the pace and the questions. This is fun. Okay, can I... Can I say something a bit crashy? You are fit as hell. You look amazing. Yo. Sonic colors me. Good. Great. Awesome. Outstanding. Amazing. Sonic colors me. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I love sports and training and climbing on stuff. It's nice to be noticed. You work out? Yes. Noise. A nice body is the ultimate symbol of dedication. You can't borrow or steal it. You have to work for it. Yep. Anything else I can do to feed that insatiable curiosity of yours? Side note, I love your hair. It's subtle. Thanks. Make. Not many people seem to notice the nuance I put into it. Uh, nuance. Well, cool. that's 1k down. How are we doing? Feeling good? Still got fuel in the tank. The burning is good, right? I'm digging the burning. Heck yeah, the burning is good. Take my word for it. You and the burning will be old friends before you know it. That'll be cool. So, as you can probably tell, Sabrosa is a bit of a tourist trap. We import a lot of people this time of year who are looking for surf and sand. Cool. It's actually kind of nice, because the winter crew is a bit less hectic and busy. But you can't really escape the bozos that come with certain types of crowds. Oh, those... What, what types of bozos? Assholes? Well, the... Bozos and assholes are the same thing, so I really can't say anything about that. Anyway, I'll spare you the local politics. Thank you. It looks like you've got some of those questions you were mentioning earlier. What's on your mind? So I've got a ridiculous question for you. Permission to ask. 
All right, although asking me to ask a ridiculous question is pretty ridiculous in itself. Ridiculeception? Hmm. I'm not gonna. That would be. <laughs> I don't wanna go into that debate. Uh, paleo keto. Oh, God. Neither. You do you, boo, but I just can't give up my baked potatoes and sour cream. You can't make me. Baked potatoes? I can't eat sour cream. I'm sorry. It, it just tastes gross. I like these questions. It's like one of those internet tests that tells you if you're a hummingbird or whatever. <laughs> I ain't no hummingbird. Oh, mm, may I ask you something sensitive? Yep. All right. Cool. Oh, sure, I guess. What's on your mind? What's it like having such a large family? Do you get on with your parents? Oh, it's actually pretty great, but I tend to butt heads with my dad and my mom. She passed away a while ago, but I'd rather not talk about it. And that's the first secret. Still got something on your mind? The first secret is parent problems. How relatable can that be for me? <laughs> Even though that's the honest truth. Uh, I've got an important question, may I ask? Tread carefully. I don't do meek. If you're rude, I'll make sure you know it. Oh shit! Uh, do you ever skip Lake Day? For real. Be honest, I skip Lake Day all the time because I don't care. <laughs> of course I don't skip leg day. I had a dream I did once, and it bothered me for a long time after. Bizarre, I know. Man, I haven't talked so much about myself since... Oh, well, since ever. Thank you for taking my survey. I'll get you that $5 Amazon gift card. Amazon. <laughs> yes, I've got my eye on some neon toe socks. And now they'll be mine. I want neon socks. Looks like we're just about at the last leg of the journey. And speaking of legs, how are yours doing? Think you can last to the end? I'm game. Let's hit that second wind and finish strong. Also, the gold options are what you want to press for A+. And it's just A+, for the highest rank of each and every date. I don't know why they should have went Song the Hedgehog on this and went S, but meh, what can you do, you know? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Let's keep it up. More sweating, more questions, more witty banter. <laughs> I'm starting to get a bit of that runner's high. Either that or I'm starting to get pretty dehydrated. Either way, now is definitely the time to strike with your conversation topics. My defenses are down. Alright. You'd better not be leading up to some sort of sales pitch. Oh god, no. <laughs> so, what's your favorite thing to do other than climbing and running and all that jazz? Riding my motorcycle. It's actually probably my favorite thing of all. I always feel so free when I'm riding. Sometimes, I just hit the gas and pretend I'm flying. What? I'm actually thinking about that now. First option. It is. And more. Hmm. You get a funny look every time you brew up a conversation topic. You're really concentrating, eh? So is there any sort of tragic past I should know about you? Any oaths or ven a vengeance you want to share? Nope. Oh shit. Good. Better to run towards something rather than away. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. You know, for a random jogging buddy, you're making this a surprisingly great time. So, run any good marathons lately? I ran a 2.23 in Boston this year. Two hours, 23 minutes, it's better than I can do. I would never run a marathon for Christ's sake. I would die. <laughs> Is that good? It's pretty good. I've still got lots to learn and lots of training to do. Thanks for asking. Oh, I think we may be getting to the end of our adventure. Looks like the lighthouse 
is just ahead. Yeah. Nice. The time really flew. Okay. I'm just going to be super direct with you. I had a great time jogging and chatting. And I really like the cut of your beret or whatever. My hair looks like dog feces, but thank you. I'd love to hang out again sometime. Maybe do some surfing together, or just grab a fruit smoothie and chill. In case you like having conversations where you're not gasping for air. What do you say? Wanna hang out again sometime? Yes! I mean, yes place or something, sorry. Dehydrated. Hydrate, homies. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's call it before things get weird. <laughs> Take it easy, and see you later. Woo! I am <laughs> in this. Also, what I collected uh, at the end and on Eero's water bottle, it's exclusive to the 18 plus version, which is Easter eggs, and they get and they give you little no no pictures for me to look at while recording so which requires some censoring yay oh, it's the joys of censoring you know <laughs> thankfully i didn't have to uh censor anything for this but um current mood lovey dovey level four affection for Eero. a plus strong start you know Thanks for the run. It was nice to have company for a change. Oh shit. Hopefully we can hit the full run sometime. You're a lot more fun to talk to than myself. Well, thanks. <laughs> Did I just make that awkward? I hope not. Anyway, cheers. Mia, what do you want? Hey, it's me. Weird gamer chick that works at the arcade. Awkward flirting, is this ringing a bell? Yes. Speaking of awkward flirting, I was kind of hoping to do a little more than that of that, but like not on company time. I'm not even sure if you're interested in available, but I thought I'd take a shot in the dark. Do you want to go out sometime? I I don't think I could have said that creepier, to me, anyways. I promise I can talk a lot less about video games. I can, but it's not something they would be interested in, or a lot more. I'm. I'm versatile, so I'd love to go out sometime. When, where, how? Why? How? When? Where? Fuck. <laughs> Fantastic. After after I'm off work is usually the best time. Why don't you drop by tomorrow night? We can head somewhere else, or I can lock down the arcade and we can have a free run of the place. I'm sure we'll find to do something fun to do. See you tomorrow. Cool. All right. <laughs> Trouble in paradise. You gotta stand up in this game, so we're just fucking ruthless. Let's go to the mall quickly. Hey, Schnookums. I'm afraid I can't stay and chat today. We're having a sale, and I actually have customers asking questions. Not oh, shit. Damn tourists. Anyway, let's meet up later. We'll share a milkshake or something. Romance. Bye bye. Romance. To the bakery. Hey, sugar. I'm glad you're here. I need your opinion on something. There's this bacon competition coming up back home in Georgia, and I'm mulling over whether I should go. Normally I wouldn't bother, but one of my rivals from high school has been calling me out on social media. Bless her heart. I would take immense satisfaction from teaching her some manners. What do you think? <laughs> I would go. Glory is all. Now don't let the don't let hairs take up shop in your head. Yeah, I think you're right. This old rival is always trying to stir me up. Thanks for the clear headed advice, sugar. It's always nice to get a second opinion that doesn't have the haze of internet smack talk clouding their judgment. Yep. As always, let me know if anything catches your eye, sugar. Nah. I already have something sweet. Oh shit, it's almost empty. Fuck. It'll be enough to get through, like, the entire night. Fuck me when I'm gonna have to edit this. Fuck you, guy. I'm gonna read the 
Go Just take a oh. quick look. I can't see back there with my cell phone. You are my only hope, Lotus. Dimitri, it's just one gray hair. Don't be silly. Uh, heads up. We got a customer. Hello. Hola. Aloha. And hello. Welcome to the Clean Bean Coffee House. What can I get for you today? Coffee. Here you are. Have a great day. Wandering around somewhat aimlessly. I was just here, weren't I? You happen, to, you happen across a beautiful fountain near the park. I've seen this with Hero. Looking into the fountain's shallows water, shallow waters, you see dozens of coins of various denominations sparkling at the bottom. And now you must make a decision. Now this is for all stats. Or you could be getting some dark karma by taking all the coins. <laughs> but um, I'll be a generous lad and throw in 10 bucks. Reaching into your pocket, you remove all the change you can find and coincidentally tally is up to, to exactly $10. Splash. You throw the literally two handfuls of change into the air, causing a sim. sim Symphony of splashes as they fall into the fountain's waters. A small crowd of people nearby applauds. Oh, cool. A wise old man nods in approval. For some reason, this seems like the best decision you've made all week. You continue on your way, a better person. Oh, Cassie, what do you want? My pervy McPeekaboo, I've decided I may believe our little personal fender bender was an accident. But I sure am forgiving you over the phone. I want to meet face to face. Oh shit. Meet me at the mall tomorrow afternoon. We'll sell this mano y mano. I'm into it. We'll see you then. Say I'm ahead. Good, don't be late and don't you dare stand me up. Bring cash. Oh, don't worry, I have cash. Hey Sugar, just want just wanted to just wanted to let you know that you're on my mind. I'm looking forward to our little get together. Okay, cool. Hope your day is going fabulous. Drop in for cookies and hugs if it ain't. Oh, the hard thing. Oh yeah, you completely ignore the cafe event. Uh, which is fucking awesome. Uh... And I may have forgotten it too. Oh shit. And this would be a pretty good point to save too. So, and Sonic fell again. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, let's... All right, I'm gonna do this. This is gonna look weird as hell, but I don't care. Fucking goddamn. Okay, okay you're... <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Fuck it. Like this. All right, go to cafe event. First mall. Aw, thanks for visiting me. I've been having a really downer day. Do you mind if I just bury my face in your chest for a little bit until everything feels better? I'm here for you. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Ah, thanks, Charmer. You're a lifesaver. Yay. Everything is so much better when you have a good-smelling person in your life who lets you borrow their hoodies and breathe in their cleavage. Thanks so much. I gotta get back to it, but you're one suave mofo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. To the arcade. Oh, hey! How's it going? Did you drop in to play severely outdated hardware with sticky control sticks? Or did you come to visit me? Uh, definitely first option, I'll second. <laughs> Don't answer that. We both know the right answer, and I'm running with it. Hey, I've got to go fetch a pizza from the kitchen for table four, but maybe we can hang out tonight or soon? No. 
I'll check my calendar and text you. In the meantime, I'm blowing kisses at you awkwardly. Bye. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright, cafe event, let's do it. Okay. Shit, I forgot what it was. Hold on, I'm gonna go pull up a guide on Steam. Alright, alright, just look now. When you arrive at the cafe, you can smell in the unmistakable and alluring scent of roasted coffee beans even from the street. There are a number of tables set up outside. But it seems like the inside is as popular is a popular hangout as well. I'm going to burp. It may have something to do with the free sample sign written in chalk on a on a blackboard by the entrance. Uh, oh Jesus Christ, that hurt! <laughs> when you enter the coffee shop, you notice right away it's empty. The two baristas appear to be bickering behind the counter. I am just saying, my dear sister. That maybe you would have less troubles if you weren't so prickly, yes? Do you see many cactuses on dates? Do you know why? Because they are prickly. Prickles say, do not date me. I will poke you in the face. Okay, cool. Cool message. Ugh, I cannot stand you when you are full of nonsense. Can't you goof off somewhere else when I can't listen to your advice? Do not fret, mi hermana. Those are just the prickles talking. I am just trying to help the cactus get some water in this dry desert heat. Cacti can go months without water, mi hermano. They do not need you scooting around commenting on their prickles! Judging by yours, I would say it's been longer than a few months. Oh, Dimitri! I'm going to start the shouting if you do not! Oh, Dimitri! Someone is here! Hola! Aloha! And hello! Welcome to the Clean Bean Coffee House! Please, excuse our <coughs> little argument. We did not hear you come in. We were just practicing a skit for our Christmas community play. Dimitri, do not lie to the customers, especially badly. I am so sorry. He is an idiot by choice, so please do not pay attention to him. What can I get for you? I would be happy to make you anything on the house as an apology. Um. Yeah, middle one. Why not? Oh, I know just what you will love. It is a latte that will fulfill your hopes and dreams. Not like for Schrigger is lying his hopes and dreams. So, you seem like a seasoned traveler with wisdom to share with the world. My dear sister here, she is what you might call unlucky in love. Hmm. Dimitri! But I think she is lovely and kind and wonderful. So I am trying to solve this puzzle. Do not talk to customers about my love life! <clears throat> I just think you could use an outside opinion, mi hermana. And I am getting a good vibe from our friendly customer here. May I pick your brain? Do you mind? Go for it. Bless you, my friend. Lotus? Fucking goddamn it, Sonic. <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes. Whatever. Just please do not embarrass me on purpose. I hate it when you do that. Here is your drink, by the way. I hope you love it. My dear sister has been on only a handful of dates the last six months, and none of them have gone past the first installment. Hmm. She claims it is because there is no chemistry, but as you can plainly see, she is made of fire and lilacs. For there to be no chemistry would be scientifically impossible. Dimitri, dating is not some silly app to get a high score. There are just no men or women that are my type. Maybe, 
and maybe I will be magically transformed into a pig, go on a crazy adventure of love and discovery, and be rescued by true love's kiss. Hmm. Anything is possible, but we should limit our discussion to the probable. What do you think, friend? Is Lotus the victim of the dreaded Typeria? Dimitri, you are so gross and weird. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. That depends are you turning down second dates or not getting invited. Uh, that one. I... How did I let myself get sucked into this conversation? I am not sure. There was one date I turned down, but that was because he kept asking to see my feet. Gross. And there was one beautiful girl I asked out again, and she said she wanted to be friends, so I ate ice cream and cried on my sofa. It is a mixed bag of troubles. There you go. But go on, my friend. We interrupted you. If you're truly looking for love, then it's probably just... So, excuse me. Something you're putting out there you don't realize. I think it's just a dry spell. Types and links are just lazy ways of thinking. Of course you are right. I have dated so many, and I have never come across these types and leagues of which you speak. Oh shit, get but out It's of only because nature decided to give you so many gifts, but rob you of a decent brain. You wound me, dear sister. Your words are daggers in my beautiful heart. I think we need to run an experiment. We need to see the problem in action. Dimitri, if you are asking this kind of person to take me on a date, I will slap the tan right off your face. Haha, <laughs> no, no, no. In science, you must remove biases to discover the tantalizing truths underneath. The next customer that comes in, you must flirt with them. Dimitri, I am not going to be your Conejo de Indias. And I am certainly not going to bother a customer for the sake of your amusement. I'm gonna look for that. I can't speak now. <laughs> it is not to bother anyone, Lotus. Trust me, almost all customers are delighted when the pretty barista flirts with them. I'll confirm that 100%. <sighs> I hate it when the universe agrees with Dimitri. I feel like everything gets wobbly. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha! That is just the feeling of the truth reaching your heart. Do not fight it. Here is what we shall do. The next customer that comes in, you will try to flirt. And then, whenever you get stuck, our friend here will signal for what you should do. Sound good? No, but I'm not fighting it. That's the spirit. Oh, there is someone coming. Everyone, to your places. All right, get it out. A young man walks in. It takes a v and takes a very long time to read the menu. He looks at me shyly several times to ensure he isn't bud budging in line. Then he walks up to the counter. Um, hello. Precious boy, Nim. <laughs> I like him so much. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. I am Lotus, and I am very excited to make you drink. I mean, to make you drink. Oh, uh, great. Um, I'm excited to order it, I suppose. Then we are both excited. Yeah, I guess we are. It is nice to have things in common. Yeah, definitely. So do I... Do I tell you my order? Oh yes, of course. Sorry, I was distracted by your hair. My hair? Oh no, what's wrong with my hair? Is there something stuck in it? <gasps> shit, shit. Middle. It looks so handsome on you. It is very handsome on you. 
Oh, uh, wow, thanks. I like your hair too. I mean, I don't want to trade hair or anything. I think it just looks really beautiful on your head. So what can I get for you? I can't have anything with caffeine, just to be super clear. So I just like some hot water for mint tea. Mint tea. Sounds good. I love mint tea too. It is so refreshing and it does wonders for your breath. I, uh, sorry. Is there something wrong with my breath? Shit, come uh. on. <laughs> okay. Fuck, it closed. No! There is nothing at all wrong with you. I would say there is nothing wrong with you at all. There is a lot right, though. Uh, oh my! Th thank you! You're very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> So, what can I get for you? Um, I already ordered. Oh, right. Of course. Can I have your name? Yeah, it's Nim. There's an H on the end, but don't worry if you spell it wrong. It's a weird name. What is it? Is it ADHD or OCD overload? Prob I don't know. Probably OCD. I think it is a beautiful name. Oh! Well, thank you! I mean, I didn't pick it, but I don't meet many people who share it. What's your name? It is Lotus. Though, maybe, if you go by what they call me around here, it's... Hey, lady! Give me my coffee! <laughs> <laughs> well, I know how that is. My nickname must be Honking Noises, because I always drive the speed limit, and that seems to annoy people. Honk! I know what you mean! It is like... Everyone is wanting to race, but they only get to the stoplights faster. It's probably a metaphor for life, but darned if I'll be figuring it out. Uh... Oh shit. Those half spheres. Yeah, make Dimitri get in the drink. Hmm, Dimitri! Get him a mint tea! But I was just about to go on break. In the trick! I'm busy here. Get in the tea. Ah, say no more. One mint tea coming up. Oh, thank you. Thank you both. Here you are. That would be two ninety-five. Three bucks. Get out of here. Thank <laughs> you. Here's five dollars. Keep the change. I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Um. Middle. Give him your number! Since you don't want your change, maybe I can give you something else? Oh, that isn't necessary. I'm good. No, I mean, like, my phone number? Oh, what if I took your number? What number would you use? That would be a major inconvenience, wouldn't it? No, I mean, you could just use it to text me. Okay. Oh, sorry. I see what you mean now. <laughs> okay, good. I was so scared. Um, yes. You can give me your number. That is a thing you can do. Okay, great. Here, I'll put it into your phone. Thank you. That's very helpful. Calm down, Nim. You're welcome. I suppose we should probably stop shouting. Yes, probably. All right. Well, I should go. <laughs> Thanks again for everything. Maybe we'll chat later? Yes. That is a perfect thing to do with my phone number. Okay, cool. Have a great day. See you again. See you. Oh my, I can't believe that went so well. Well, there were moments where it seemed like you were determined to make it as awkward as possible. Oh, I would make it awkward immediately. I, I know! I don't know what is wrong with me. I just kept putting my foot in my mouth. Lucky for you. Some people are into that sort of thing. All right, Dimitri, you can show your mouth now. Dimitri, be less weird for a moment. Yes, yes. 
But also, luckily for you, our good friend here was quick with the excellent suggestions. This was so strange and awkward and just bizarre. Bizarre. But it was also kind of fun, I must admit. Yes, like a dashing Cyrano de Bergerac. Your advice could not have been keener. Maybe you can come back and we try this again. Ooh. No, no, no. Once was plenty. Shush, 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 shush. You need to come down from the clouds before you can make more decisions. Drop in again, friend. We will trade you Americanos for advice. Sound good? Sounds great. Aha! Perfecto. There's the noise. All right. I need to do some actual work around here. Thanks for everything. I hope we see you again soon. Yes, cheers, my friend. Come see us again. The game is afoot. Indeed, it is afoot. Well, this will be the outro, so thank you everybody for watching the return of my Hush Hush playthrough. I can't wait to do more of this. Oh boy. So exciting to do more of this. So, yeah, that's it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do uh, give it a thumbs up for some uh, weird moments of plush action or something and coffee and precious nim uh! and some fantastic hero moments. So yeah, please do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and uh, if you're an existing subscriber, please do share with the public and we are about to and hopefully by the time this video comes out we have reached finally 25 subscribers the support is growing ever so much and i i just can't thank you guys enough for the amount of support from the honey pop 2 playthrough i did for like a year and um now with this playthrough finally a second episode and uh yeah so thank you everybody so much for watching I'll see you all next time for some more Hush Hush. Goodbye.